Let's get drunk I'll pull my heart up through my mouth This year's been hard for us, no doubt Let's raise a glass to a better one Tom, come avvenne e dove il tuo primo incontro con la musica? I mean, one of my earliest memories, I guess, is um, going to an ACDC concert with my dad when I was nine years old in Paris. He, he tried to get tickets for, for England, but they sold out, so he ended up booking the, the Eurostar, I think, to, to France. And um, yeah, that was my first gig I ever went to with my father. And I, and I just fell in love with Angus Young and his guitar playing and yeah, it's really lovely. I actually went the other day with my dad and I bought him tickets and <laughs> we went to see them in Wembley uh, last week, which was an amazing experience. Good to see it come full circle, you know. <laughs> my father told me, can we go happy every day? Can have the sun without the rain? Can have... Sappiamo che è iniziato come buskers. Cosa ricordi di quell'esperienza? getting rained on quite a lot. <laughs> you know, the UK is not the best place for busking, if I'm honest. Uh, it's just because the weather's very unpredictable, but definitely kind of a, a, a rite of passage, I guess, you know. Uh, I, I often did covers of popular songs, but I mostly just did my own songs and it was really cool to test what I thought the general public would kind of latch onto, which was really nice experience. And just nice to spend, you know, a few hours a day out playing and, and doing my thing really. Ed è stata anche una scuola di vita l'essere un basker. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it certainly uh, ruffles you up a bit, you know, and it's really hard to busk in London. You need a license, which I think is so stupid. Um, and the waiting list for one was a year to get one. And so I used to have to sneak out and I was always getting chased away by the council and stuff like that. <laughs> E come succede che dalle strade diventi una star? I guess it was uh it was a kind of wasn't this overnight thing, you know. Uh while I was busking I, I was at university. So I was really just doing that to to get a bit of spare money to go to the pub with really. It wasn't like I was professionally busking as a career, you know what I mean? It was more of a beer money hobby. So so yeah, after I did my you know, finished my degree, I, I met my manager, Simon and I sent him some music and he really liked it and you know from then he put me in writing sessions with other artists and producers and writers and kind of just all went from there and I started writing for me and other people and then me and him developed um, you know a kind of sound together and um, you know then got signed by a label. Come gestisci il successo oggi? Uh, I mean, it's nothing to complain about being successful, I don't think, you know. Um, I've had some jobs I've really hated in life uh, and this certainly is not one of them, so I've got nothing to complain about. Sei un autore, scrivi canzoni, cosa significa scrivere per te? It's like a therapy for me, writing songs, you know. I'm, I'm a big fan of, of writing music and, yeah, I just... It, it's when I need to get something out, you know, when I'm really struggling with something, I find that writing music and getting my thoughts onto the paper is kind of almost like a little form of therapy for me and helps me kind of... Uh, i don't know, reevaluate life sometimes. Cosa metti nella tua scrittura? Cosa troviamo di te stesso nelle tue canzoni? I mean everything, you know? I think I'm quite honest in my songwriting about myself and my friends and my family and the experiences that I've been through. Because I find that when you write something that's very personal, people tend to connect with it because they find their own stories and their own truths in it. Um, so I try my best to, to write from experience. Un solo album in cinque anni. Sappiamo che a settembre dovrebbe uscirne un altro. Ma è una questione di pigrizia o di mancata ispirazione? Well, you know, it's really difficult to write. I found it really difficult to write during the pandemic because there was nothing going on. There was nothing happening. And, you know, my whole first album was about these experiences I've had with friends and family and all the rest of it. So, 
So yeah, I just found it really difficult to, to, to get the pen to paper. But when all that was over and we started gigging again and all that, the album came like that. So, you know, it's been done for, for a year now. It's just a case of putting it out in September. I wish we could have saved you. I wish we could have helped you understand. Nobody would have blamed you. È la tua prima volta in Svizzera? No, I've been many times, yeah. Many times. Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. All over Switzerland. It's one of my favorite places. Very beautiful. Tom, siamo a Lugano, nella parte italiana della Svizzera. Ascoltiamo anche parecchia musica italiana qui. Per cui non posso non chiederti della tua collaborazione con Marco Mengoni. Awesome, yeah. Marco is so lovely, such a talented individual uh, and a really, really beautiful soul. He's a, he's a lovely man. So, yeah, I really enjoyed uh, collaborating with him and, and, you know, performing with him was great as well. I came over to Italy and did a uh, kind of surprise guest in his show, which was amazing. So, yeah. I used to be a little better at dancing on my own. Before you put your arms around me Swept the world beneath my feet And I was The second someone mentioned you were all alone I could feel the trouble coursing through your veins Now I know una canzone ha cambiato la tua vita. Sappiamo che le canzoni non possono cambiare il mondo. Cosa possono fare allora? Uh, I mean, you know, a lot. I think, you know, it's kind of one or two songs that meant I could start touring the world and, uh, you know, bringing extra people into the band and making the project bigger and bigger. So I think, you know, one song can kind of change everything, which is really strange but then on the other side of it I think like on an emotional standpoint I think it's amazing what songs can do for people because they can help to rescue people when they're feeling really down you know I think music can bring a lot of people back from when they're stuck in the darkness which is a is a beautiful thing and oh, I don't know a life without music would be a sort of really sad sad world mi pare di capire allora che la musica ti ha salvato la vita yeah I think so For sure, I, I don't know what I'd be doing in my life without music, you know, it's all I ever wanted to do and it was all I was ever good at, um, at school really, I wasn't very academic in terms of, you know, maths and science and English and all the rest of it, but uh, music always made sense to me, always clicked, always resonated with me from a super early age, so yeah, I feel very um, privileged to be doing it. Tom, se tu avessi una bacchetta magica, per chi lasceresti accesa la luce oggi? Oh, what, you mean if I could bring somebody back? Um, oh, I don't know, there's, yeah, there's, there's people in my life that I've lost along the way, sadly, who I would love to, to spend time with, but uh, I won't say anybody specific, you know, but the, the, that's what happens in life, you lose your friends sometimes, you lose family members, and it's really hard to deal with, you know, and uh, no, it's not something you ever get used to, so, yeah, there's a number of people I can think of that I would, I'd love to spend an, an extra day with again. La tua storia assomiglia molto a una favola e sappiamo che le favole hanno una morale. La tua qual è? Oh, just that it's nice to be nice, you know. I think this uh I think you can get carried away in this industry sometimes and it's easy to develop a bit of an ego and it's easy to you know, I don't know, not not be yourself sometimes. So, I think that's my try to be my mantra is that it's nice to be nice. I will leave the light on 